Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we are outside everybody's favorite property, the complex. And we are doing um, probably one of the last videos here. I'll have at least one or two more, but it's coming to an end, most likely. <laughs> you never know with this crazy property um, because most of the units are now rented. Almost everything is done here. We just have a little bit of work to do on the small house, and we'll show you that here. Um, all five of those units are all finished and four of them are rented. We just have one one bedroom left. This house is finished. We just need to get it cleaned, but it's got a lease signed on it. Um, we'll show you it and we'll talk about all the numbers. And then the little house is almost done, just waiting on a few finishing touches. We'll have it up for lease and then we'll see um, if we can get that one rented as well too. But we've come in real close maybe, I mean, actually higher than what we thought leases would be when we bought the property. And so um, I still think I want to sell it, but it does look really nice right now. So, <laughs> and um, with the rents coming in, you know, part of me is like, oh, we could just keep it, but I don't know if I want to do that. All right. Um, of course, we love the likes, shares, comments, keep those coming. Love seeing new subscribers as well. And yes, we've got a friend over there. Um, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at this property. First off, there's, you know, a few issues because they're moving in right away and they'll have some paint spilled, which I didn't see last time I was here and some other issues as well, but we'll get those fixed. But you can see, and we'll try and do a, I'll splice in some before video or pictures to show you what this one looked like when we first bought it. Cause this whole complex was crazy. <laughs> I might have to do one whole final video as well, showing before and after of everything because yes, it was just quite the crazy property. And I don't know what that is. There's some yellow on the floor, but hopefully they can clean that up. Um, so this one was a two bedroom when we bought it. Now it's a three bedroom. We had someone this place who, needs a lot um, of work. So why would we pay so leased, much money for a property? Well, it has seven units this was ready and, and finished. Seven units. Someone wanted to rent this. So this one is rented for 1450 which I think it might even be a little bit low, but um, this is 1450. The one bedrooms, which um, we've shown before a number of times, this property has its own playlist. And this kitchen was so ugly before, so much better. Um, but the one bedrooms are rented for 950, I believe, or is it 975? Somewhere in that range. There's a two bedroom that's rented for 11. 50 and the three bedroom is rented for 1250 and yeah like i said we still need to clean a little dirty there but yeah so much better um and then the little house i'm not sure what we're going to ask yet for it we'll go over there and look at it and um, decide on that but overall we bought this property for five hundred and fifty thousand dollars and um spent a lot of money on it probably in the range of three hundred thousand. we just saw that like i don't know if someone threw a rock there or I was going to say the mower, there's not much to mow back there. <laughs> Don't know what happened. That was a um, brand new window, but at least it's not like all the way broken. Maybe we can get like one of those car windshield places to come fill it so it doesn't crack. I wonder if they do that. But <laughs> we paid $550 for this property. And um, I'll add up the rents here in a second as I walk over to the small house and kind of figure out what it might be worth now. And uh, yeah, if I want to sell or keep it. I mean, one thing we just forgot is um, we're pulling this dumpster because it's full from mostly the neighbors throwing their trash in there. But then we don't have trash service for the tenants. So before they had dumpster just sitting right in front of that unit, kind of where that car is. And not a good spot. So we're trying to figure out where to put it. You could put it back there, but it might block the driveway and be right by their house. Love to put it back there in that corner over there, but I don't think the trash truck can get to it back there. So then one other option would be putting it kind of in this little courtyard somewhere, either right here or up by the mailboxes. And then, yeah, we need to clean this up some too, but we'll show you the little house. Oh, and we'll check the laundry too, because we do have the coin op laundry going. So this is the house that had the 500 tire eviction. If everybody remembers that, <laughs> and yes, that is in the, the playlist. Um, this is where that gentleman lived. It was a one bedroom before, and there's a bedroom right here. 
and then a little tiny kitchen right here. It was so tiny. And um, a living room over here, and the bathroom in the back we'll show you. But yeah, we, I wanted to make it a one bedroom again, but I was, I was vetoed by my team, and for once I decided to listen to them. So we made it an open studio. And it's, I can see why, it's pretty nice having this room, because it's so small that it would be really tight with one bedroom. But um, we're gonna have the kitchen go all the way across here, and I think, do a little L shape too, so it should have a decent kitchen. This is just a closet right here. Your water heater in there, and um, should be a nice little unit. So I don't know exactly what to charge. This one probably around a thousand, I think we're thinking. And then yeah, we still have some bathroom work, so we're waiting for a plumber to come in here and do that. We did not change the floor plan around or do much back here, just because it's all concrete and be such a pain to jackhammer that out and redo all of it. All right, so we'll check laundry, but rents right now, I said I would check them before I came in here, and I didn't do that yet because I got distracted by the trash can discussion. Let's see here, I'll get out my trusty calculator. And what did I say? 1450 plus 950 plus 950 plus 950 plus 1150 plus 1250, I think that's all right, equals 6,700. So we have it um, plus the studio, like 7,700 um, a month is what it should bring in once it's all rented. We multiply that by 12 and we get, that is not correct, hold on. Let's get 7,700 equals times 12 is 92,400. And kind of divide that by my gross cap rate of 7.5. That makes it worth 1.23 million. So it should be a good investment after all we've done, all the craziness we've gone through. Um, should be well over a million dollar property, bringing in $7,700 a month in rent. So, and it would actually cash flow too if I were to keep it and refinance it. Don't know if I'm gonna do that or not but it's a possibility. Um, just to be nice to have, I think my loan's 550,000 on it, just what I bought it for, and use a private financing loan. And it would be nice to bring in, you know, $650,000 check as well if we do sell it. So we'll make the decision on that. And then um, let's go check out the laundry right now. So each tenant gets their own laundry key. We do lock it. And, uh, I checked this last week, but I don't remember what day it was. Today's a Tuesday, so I don't know if this will be one week or shorter than a week or longer than a week, I'm not sure. So let's see what we've got. You can see the laundry machines, we did $1.75. That's what the Ocho, the other eight unit apartment where I started my laundry adventures, <laughs> that's what that one was set at. So I set this one at the same. Um, eh, not horrible for a lot of the tenants just moved in. I don't think, as you can see, the house hasn't moved in yet. I don't think there's three bedrooms moved in yet, but not horrible for, uh, I think it's less than a week and having, you know, really just a few people moved in. So that should do pretty decent as well. So there ended up being 22, almost $23 in there. And yes, I will take care of my quarter problem soon. That's the Ocho quarters. Here's the complex quarters. And I got a sweet Countach from an estate sale. And that's the cool deer the dance studio gave us. Um, but I was gonna say, this is what the Ocho was set at 175 for each load. I've been working on a different project and this will give you a hint, but I've been looking at um, prices laundromats charge. And um, they're so expensive. They're all like 250 for these small um, washers and dryers and if you do the big ones it's like four five even eight dollars for the giant washing machines per load so um, some people say these are expensive they might be too cheap based on what laundromats are and then um, we just have one of each for seven units which might seem like too few but we asked people at the Aplex it that also has one each and they said it's actually fine we all just talk to each other and have a schedule and if everyone sticks to their schedule, it's no problem at all. So 
they didn't even want more, even though um, we were thinking about it, there wasn't much room there, but we could have gotten stackables maybe, but um, they said they didn't need any more. So that's something to think about. So, uh, other people have asked about credit card um, machines, accepting them. Um, from what I've heard, that can help increase revenue a little bit, but they also can break easier, and then you're paying credit card fees, and um, there's some other issues with them as well. So um, we'll, we'll keep it simple for now, and then uh, we'll count this up and see how it looks at home. But um, that's all we've got for the complex, like I said. We'll definitely be back to show the small unit finish, and maybe we'll do a final before and after video of all the units, what they look like. And of course, if we do sell it, we'll do kind of a complete video talking about the numbers and how we did and all that stuff as well. All right, thanks for watching. Love all the support, the comments, the likes. Keep those coming. Love seeing new subscribers as well. So um, we'll be back with many more interesting videos on our other flips. We have 12, 11 flips going. Uh, other commercial properties, the store, um, the bar, some other possible new businesses as well. So uh, stick around. We'll be back.